Okay, this video is really me being on my soapbox and I'm honestly very nervous and scared about it, but here goes nothing. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Mayuko. So today we're going to be talking about feelings. And before we start, just wanted to say thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Whether you need a website, domain, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Okay, so I wanted to talk about feelings today because I realized recently just how much I feel and how much feelings and emotions are a strong part of my personality. And so I've been trying to sort those feelings out and just being more attuned to how I'm feeling in different situations and different moments. But because being a software engineer in the tech industry is also a core part of my identity, I've been kind of thinking about these two at the same time and seeing how both affect each other. And so I wanted to open up this conversation about just feelings and working in the tech industry with y'all. So I don't know if y'all have felt this before, but I definitely thought it. It feels like the general public think that engineers are emotionless, cold-hearted, mechanic, and machine-like people. And I think this stereotype comes from a lot of different things like the media. Yeah, honestly, just the media. The media is the worst. <laughs> but yeah, it just kind of feels silly to me because software engineers are still human beings who feel and think about different things, you know? And I wanted to talk about that a little bit because maybe there's something about working in the tech industry, especially as a software engineer, that makes it hard for you to express your emotions and perspectives freely without judgment. And this just doesn't feel that great to me. Like I said before, I'm someone who has a lot of emotions and feels often very strongly. And in a work setting, I'm the type of person who wears my heart on my sleeve and talks about my feelings a lot. And I like to think this is beneficial because I bring different perspectives to different situations. I mean, people feel differently about things based on their background or personality, right? And if you think about the fact that software is usually supposed to cater to a lot of different kinds of people, having those types of people in the room talking about their perspectives, I think is really useful because then you ultimately make a better product and better software as a result. This is actually one of the main arguments for why diversity is so important in tech. I also understand that being able to express your emotions and perspectives freely without judgment is not something that everyone has the luxury of doing. And even if you're not in a societal or economic situation, being able to talk about your emotions and perspectives like that is something that most people are only comfortable doing with the people they trust. I don't know, maybe it's just like the fear of being different and because of all the things that make up who you are, you have a fear of being rejected and you f you're afraid that expressing your emotions is going to alienate yourself from other people. But I think you'll find that like emotions are a common human experience and so sharing those with other people and finding connections and sorting through those emotions, I, I think those that's one of the best things that you can do to, I don't know, just figure out how life works. That's why I think that being able to create safe environments where people feel comfortable expressing their emotions is really important. And honestly, it's every single person's responsibility to make that environment. Like shutting people down and not being empathetic to their situation can make this really difficult. Being able to pick up on cues is a big part of this. And so if you see someone who's maybe like shaking when they're talking in a big group, then they're probably really nervous. And so going up to them and saying like, hey, you did a great job, you really expressed your thoughts clearly is really meaningful to that person. Or maybe you see someone who's been wanting to talk for a while, but they haven't had the chance to. Opening up to them and saying like, hey, I noticed that you've been wanting to say something for a while, what would you like to say? Is something that is so easy to do and anyone can do, and it makes people feel so much more welcome. Anyways, I hope you got something from that. Let me know what you think. I might be wrong in all of this, and so I would love to hear some differing opinions. I would love to gain some more perspective on what you all feel because I am just one person in the tech industry who has a very, you know, who's had a very different background from probably a lot of y'all. So, and if I wasn't clear on any of these, ask me, I'll comment. Uh, I think this is a really interesting topic and it's something that's been on my mind for a long time now. So I wanted to open up the discussion and hear what y'all think. So give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos where I talk about attitudes and feelings and thoughts about the tech industry. I love talking about these things with my friends. And so I think opening it up and broadening the discussion around this might be pretty cool. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always and hit the notification bell if you haven't done already to be notified for my new videos. So I'm going to VidCon this week, which I am so, so, so excited about. I went last year for the first time and that's when Jarvis and I realized we should make our own YouTube channel. So 
it's been a year and I'm stoked to really learn about all the different things that creators are doing and what techniques they're using. I'm also going to be able to hang out with Jarvis and Joma and Charlie Marie and Amy Codes. So it's going to be a great time. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram for all of that and Twitter. Maybe I'll vlog it. I don't know, but I'm sure there will be a lot of collabs. Again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. They have beautiful designer templates that are ready for you to use, and it's an all-in-one platform, so you never have to install, patch, or upgrade anything ever. They also have award-winning 24-7 customer service. That's right, I said 24-7 customer service, which is one of the best things, I think. It's also really easy to set up or transfer a domain onto Squarespace, so you can brand it with whatever you'd like. It's also never been easier to set up an online store on Squarespace, so head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to Squarespace squarespace.com slash Mayuko for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Uh, I think that's it for today, so I'll see you next time. Bye!